Hello, my name is Chris Scott, and on behalf of the Newport Library Art Center in Newport, New Hampshire, I'd like to welcome you to a series of craft opportunities hosted by me. Today's project is going to be this little cat with movable legs. You can see here's one leg, two legs, here's a third leg and a fourth leg. And I have attached this cat to a stick. This actually is an old used up magic marker so that it winds up being a little puppet that I can have running across a stage. And this puppet is made from a piece of cardboard that I cut from an old cereal box. And you can use a cereal box or any other kind of lightweight cardboard. Card shock, an old file folder, um, lots of different options. To make the cat puppet with articulated or moving legs, you will need some lightweight cardboard. This is an old cereal box. I'm going to use the inside, the unprinted side, to draw on. You could also use cardstock, heavy cardstock, and I have some of that. You're going to need something to draw with, pencil, and something to color with. I have some markers and some colored pencils here, but you could also use crayons or paint. You could use all of those things at the same time. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And then to keep the legs attached to the body, I like to use paper fasteners. I'm going to show you the side of the box. These are called Clippo fasteners, and I call them paper fasteners. And this is how they work. They have a little head on top, and then they have this long two pieces attached to them. And you can put the paper onto the long pieces and then unfold them, and it'll hold your paper together. You can get these at office supply stores or usually at the art supply store. But if you can't find any, you can also use a couple of buttons to make, to make a cat with four legs. You would need four buttons and a needle and thread. It's helpful with the fasteners to have a hole punch, but you don't absolutely need one. To begin, I've taken a piece of cardstock and I've folded it in half. I'm gonna cut it in half because that's a more manageable size. Now I'm gonna draw my cat. I'm gonna draw a circle and then I'm gonna draw an oval. And I'm going to add cat ears and I'm going to add a cat tail. And then I'm going to connect, I'm going to connect the head, the head and the body. I'm going to connect the head over here in the body so it looks more like a cat. And then I'm going to draw a cat face. I'm going to make a fish hook. Then I'm going to draw another fish hook. Then I'm going to make a triangle. Then at the bottom of the triangle, I'm going to make another fish hook. And I'm going to make another fish hook. I'm going to draw eyes right there. So these are the eyebrows now. Then I'm going to make whiskers. I'm going to draw three dots for my whiskers. Looks like a pretty happy cat. I'm going to make uh, the insides of the cat ears. Usually that part is pink. So I have my cat body drawn and now I'm going to draw my cat's legs. So I'm going to take this other piece of paper 
And I'm gonna draw four calf legs like this. Those are my cat legs. Here are my cat paws with little cat toes. Just like that. Cut out most of my cat's body, but I thought I'd leave this piece of the tail to show you something. Sometimes when I cut and I'm really cutting something that's a hard shape, instead of moving my scissors around, I will move the piece of paper so that I can cut more easily the shape that I want to cut. There we go. So now I have my cat body cut out and I have my four cat legs cut out as well. I'm gonna put the front cat legs on with a uh, hole punch and a fastener. So I'm gonna put my Put a hole right where I think the front legs should go on the cat. And then I'm going to take my two cat legs and I'll stack them up. And I'm going to put a hole right through the center of those. You can see that. And I'm going to take a paper fastener and I'm going to have it pointy like this. And then I'm going to stack my legs, one on top and one underneath. So one on top of the cat body, one underneath the cat body. And I'm gonna put my paper fastener through the hole, through the hole, and then I'm gonna unfold the wings, just like that. There we go. So now the cat has legs and the cat can walk. The cat looks like it's walking on its tiptoes. In the back, I'm gonna show you how to put the legs on with a couple of buttons. I'm gonna start by making a hole, by making a hole in the leg, in one of the legs with a needle. Then I'm gonna make a hole in the other leg with a needle. And then I'm gonna make a hole in the body of the cat where I think the legs are going to go. This is a good heavy piece of string or yarn on a fairly big needle. And I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna stack my, my cat legs, again, one on the bottom, then the body of the cat, then the top of the cat. I'm gonna take a, a button and I'm going to put my thread through one of the through one of the holes on the button then I'm going to put it through the cat's leg then I'm going to put it through the cat's body and I'm going to put it through the other leg then I'm going to take my other button and I'm going to put it on top and I've got all of those things held on my needle I'm going to pull a needle through just far enough so that I have thread on both sides. Then I'm gonna take my needle and I'm going to go back through one of the holes on my button. I'm gonna go back through the hole in the leg. I'm gonna go back through the hole on the body. And I go back through the hole on the other leg. Then I'm gonna go through one of the other holes on the button Pull a little bit, and I'm going to make a tie, a tie, just like this. Make a double knot, but not too tight, because we still want them to move. And I'm going to cut off the extra. And then my back legs are on with two buttons. So there's the front button. There's the back button the knot in the string, and the legs. 
my happy cat needs to be colored in. I think I'm going to make my cat cute ears and a pinky nose. And then I think my cat is going to have green stripes, green tiger stripes. Because when you're drawing, you can draw anything that your imagination can think up. So my cat is going to have green tiger stripes. I've flipped my cat over and I'm going to take this bamboo skewer that I have and I'm going to put it on the back of the cat with some tape. Use one piece of tape. I think I'm going to use two pieces of tape. There she is. She can run and play. Maybe she and the other cat are running and playing together.